In this short presentation, we will give you an introduction to microbiome analysis using Diamond and Megan, two tools that are used at the Center for Metagenomics, CMET. This is your basic pipeline for doing or starting analysis. You do DNA sequencing that gives you a file or multiple files of DNA reads. Then you use a program like Diamond to do a sequence alignment of your reads against appropriate reference databases. And the output of this is then given to a program called Megan, which allows you to interactively analyze and visualize the data. Let's start, Megan. When you open up the program, it shows you a window with an overview of the NCBI taxonomy, but you need to open a Megan file to actually start working with the program. So let's go to the, the file menu. And here is a file that's already been produced by Megan. So there's some work involved in producing this file, but we won't talk about that here. And then this is what you see. This is an overview of the taxonomic analysis of this data set. You can see that the nodes have different sizes, indicating how many reads have been assigned to a particular level, to a particular node. For example, the, clicking on this node, we can see that 977,000 reads have been assigned to bacteria or a node below it. And we can zoom in on this classification by uncollapsing this node. Go to uncollapse, and then you can see the different phyla, bacterial phyla here, and again, the size of the node gives you an indication of how many reads have been assigned to each of these phyla. Let's have a look at the firmicutes and collapse that node uh, like this, and then you can see that there's the different numbers for the firmicutes. If you were another way to navigate the tree is to choose a specific rank that you're interested in. Say you're interested in the taxonomic rank of genus, click on this button here to get genus level analysis of the data set. You can see the different genera here. And one thing that you might want to do with this is to produce a bar chart like this. So this gives you an overview of read counts for the different genera in this particular data set. Taxonomic analysis is one way of looking at your data. A second way of looking at your data is to do a functional analysis, for example, using the keg classification. You launch the keg viewer, keg viewer, clicking on this button here, and you get an overview of the keg classification. You can see there's different types of keg pathways, and it's very, it's very navigating this is very similar to the case of taxonomic tree. For example, you can see I'm more I'm interested in metabolism, uncollapse the metabolism node. And you can see the different types of metabolism that is uh, distinguished in cake. And you might be interested, for example, in energy metabolism, and you might decide to go one level deeper here to see the different types of energy me metabolism. Uh, you might be interested in producing a chart for these different types of metabolism. And then again, you go to the chart viewer, which is one of these buttons up here. I guess this one. There you go. Okay, that gives you a basic idea of how to get into a single data set. There are lots of other things that you might want to do. Just to give you an example, if you might be interested in the actual reads that have been assigned to a particular taxon, for example, this one here, take the context menu, and then you can drill down into your data set and have a look at the individual reads that have been assigned to a particular node. And then for a given read, you can go further down into the data and actually look at the individual alignments that have been used to place the read where it's been placed. I've just opened a file here that contains 33 samples from the MetaHit project. These are the samples that were used to establish the concept of, of enteriotypes. So these are 16S sequences and uh, they've been classified down to the rank of genus. So I can go down to the genus level and then we can see all the different genera that are found here. And you can see that Megan's showing these different data sets as pie charts. There's a number of other ways that you might want to visualize the different data sets. For example, as small bar charts or as a kind of heat map. But we stick to the, 
the circles just because they are the smallest. Now, uh, Megan allows you to do a PCOA classification, which of course is the basis of the whole enteriotype concept. So let's take a look at a PCOA analysis of these data sets. You do that by clicking on this button here, and now you can see the result of a PCOA analysis. You can see the different data sets here. You can see that at, by default, Megan shows you the first and the second principal coordinates, but you can change that. You can second and the third, for example, first or third, or any other combination of two. And you can also go into a 3D mode. So now I've chosen the first three components, and then by rotating, you can get a better idea of how the components separate the data. Now in the enteriotype paper, uh, the authors distinguish between three different enteriotypes, and we're going to try and recover those enteriotypes using Megan. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the biplot. So the biplot projects the different organisms or different taxa into the, the plot, showing in the main principal axes uh, as they depend on the different organisms. You can see, for example, that there's an arrow pointing down at the moment labeled Bacteroidetes, and that's because as you go from the, the top data sets to the bottom data sets, you will see an increase of the relative number of reads assigned to Bacteroidetes uh, along that gradient. Similarly, if you move from the middle towards the top left, you're moving along a gradient of an increasing proportion of Prevotella and then but you can see there's another, there's a third main axis pointing down here. So we could try and recover the enterotype simply by defining groups based on these vectors. So for example, we might choose these guys up here, put them into a group and say, okay, this might be one of the, the three enterotypes. And uh, everybody who's down here, we could try and select those guys as a potential enterotype. And then uh, let's take the remaining data sets over here, put them into a third group. Okay, and then now if you look at now if we rotate the data, you can see that we've we've chosen three nice groups, and they might well be the enterotypes, but we can because this is the original data, we can actually check whether what we think are three natural groupings here correspond to what the authors of the enterotype paper thought. And so Let's look at Megan's sample view. This gives us an overview of the different data sets and whatever metadata have been associated with it. So this, these 33 samples only have two items of metadata associated with them, the country from which the individual comes from, who the sample was taken from, and the actual entry type. So what we can do, we can ask Megan to color the samples by entry type. Now, we can kind of, okay, so now you can see brown is one of the enterotypes. You can see what we guess would be an enterotype seems to be compatible with what the actual paper says. And you can see down here that most of the guys that are light blue form one enterotype, and then the dark blue guys are a third. So we didn't get, by visual inspection, we didn't immediately hit upon the three enterotypes with high precision, but with, you know, good enough for a first uh, attempt. So what we're trying to show you here is that uh, Megan's interactive PCOA viewer uh, allows you to explore your data interactively, forming groups, coloring by metadata, and a number of other powerful features that you may want to explore for yourself. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation. Please download Megan and try it yourself. If you have further questions, please contact us at CMET for information and assistance. We are happy to help you plan your first or next microbiome analysis project.